This is module four, lesson 12, homework on the front. Today's objective was to solve word problems involving area. Number one, a square calendar has sides that are nine inches long. What is the calendar's area? There's some important information in this problem that helps me to draw a picture. I know that the calendar is a square and I know that one side of the calendar is nine inches long. So I'm gonna start by drawing a square. A, one of the sides of a square is nine inches. I know that a square has equal sides. So if one side of the square is nine inches, that means all sides of the square are nine inches. So I'm gonna label one other side as nine inches. Looking back at the question, I'm being asked to find the calendar's area. Like we've been practicing, we're gonna multiply the length times the width to find the area. So I will multiply nine times nine. Nine times nine equals 81. We're measuring in inches and this is the area, so I'm going to label this as square inches. Number two, each square is one square unit. Sienna uses the same square units to draw a six by two rectangle and says that it has the same area as the rectangle below. Is she correct? Explain why or why not. So to start, I'm going to draw the rectangle that Sienna drew. Her rectangle has the side lengths six and two. So I'm gonna draw that rectangle here. Making sure one side is gonna show two units and one side is showing six units. To find the area of that rectangle, I need to multiply two times six. Two times six is 12. Since it's the area, I need to also write square units. My other rectangle has one, two, three, four units as my length and one, two, three units as the width. Again, I'm gonna multiply four times three. Four times three equals 12, and since it's the area, we need to put square units. So looking back at the question, is she correct? Do these two rectangles have the same area? Well, we have an area of 12 square units, and an area of 12 square units. So, yes, she is correct because both four times three and six times two equal 12. Number three, the surface of an office desk has an area of 15 square feet. Its length is five feet. How wide is, is the office desk? So I know that I have an area of 15 square feet and a length of five feet. So to start, I'm gonna draw 
the length and label it as 5 feet. Then I'm going to estimate the rest of the rectangle and label the area as 15 square feet. I'm missing the width, which is my other part of the area, or other part of the rectangle that I need to find the area. So I need to take 15, which is my area, and the number 5, to find out what W is. If we look at those two numbers, we also know that we, are, we would multiply to find the area. So to do the opposite is what we need to do to find W, which is division. On your own, solve for W and make sure you label it with Feet.